What you are looking at now is the A-star pathfinding algorithm. It's basically searching for the shutter spots from the red to the green location on the terrain. So how does this work? Let's look at it from a more logical view. If as a person I wanted to find the shortest or the most efficient way to get from my house to my workplace, the simplest way to do it would be to go through every path between the two locations, keep track of how long it took me to get there for each one, and then just pick the shortest one. This of course will guarantee me finding the shortest path eventually, but let's be real. If I was living in a huge city with hundreds or even thousands of possible paths, this will take forever to get there. So let's try to make this easier. How about instead of checking every single path from my house to my workplace, I can get the map instead and mark all the roads and distances of the map. For my house, I'll mark the distance as zero because I'm already there. For my workplace, I'll mark it as infinity for now because I have no idea how long it'll take me to get there. Next, I can look at neighboring places I can go directly from my house. Let's say there's a cafe 2 kilometers away and a park 5 kilometers away. I'll write the distances down for those places and simply pick the closest location and go there. In this case, it will be the cafe because it's the shortest distance. I'll then find all the places I can go from the cafe. If I find the shortest way to get to those places, I'll update their distances. Let's say I realize the park is actually 3 kilometers away instead of 5 kilometers as we thought initially. I'll pick the short one and update its distance. And I just keep repeating this process for every location I go to, until I get to my workplace. By the time I get there, I would have already found the shortest paths without wasting time on unnecessary details or paths I don't need to explore. Like taking baby steps. What I just explained is the dystrous algorithm. Not only does this guarantee the optimal path, it also takes a lot less time. But we can take this a step further. The A-star algorithm is actually just an improvement of the dystrous algorithm. So we still do the same thing as before. We set our house distance to zero and set our workplace to infinity. But this time, with a little bonus, we add something called a heuristic. Yeah, I know it's a big word, but trust me, it's very simple. A heuristic is basically just a guess on how long you think it will take you to get there. It could be just drawing a straight line from the house to the workplace. This of course disregards the paths, but at least it gives you a rough idea on how long you should spend going there. And we can use this to further narrow down our choices. Now, instead of just picking the closest location like the Dijkstra's algorithm, we pick the closest one plus the one that's heading towards our destination, or at least seems like it's heading there. Let's say there's a library 2 kilometers away, but it's in the opposite direction of the workplace. And there's a bridge 3 kilometers away, but it's heading towards the workplace. A star will prioritize the bridge over the library because it's not only considers the distance, but also how close it is to our destination, aka its heuristic. We can visualize this with code by creating a grid using a matrix or an array of arrays. We can start with the 100 by 100, and then we can create a class called cell, which could act as a data carrier for each spot in the matrix. We will also add the little draw function to see it on the canvas. Great, now we need to keep track of each cells in the grid we have evaluated and which ones we haven't. We'll call them the closed set array and the open set array respectively. We also want to keep track of the neighboring cells of each cell. These are the cells that are at the top, bottom, left and right of every cell in the grid. So basically every cell keeps track of its own neighbors. We also need obstacles to simulate actual paths. We can just randomly add them, which is much easier, but it doesn't look too good aesthetically. So I got this pearly noise function from our good friend ChatGPT to create more solid shapes instead, making it look like an actual map rather than just random dots. Noise is a topic on its own, so I won't really dive into that. You can let me know in the comments if you would like a video on that topic in the future. So the final evaluation of each cell will be stored in a variable called f. f is the sum of g and h. g is basically how long it took us to get to that cell, which is its distance. And h is the heuristic or our estimated distance from that cell to the destination. At every iteration of the search, there will always be a winner cell. That's the one with the lowest f score. So if we search and we find a cell with a lower f score than the previous winner, that becomes our new winner. And this continues till the f score gets to zero and there are no more cells to evaluate, which means we have found the optimal path. We also need to keep track of our progress so we can, you know, highlight the parts at the end of the search. So we simply create a path array and just push the winner cells at every point of the search iteration. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the A-star algorithm. I'll leave this also in the description.